you can swap buttons really easily. So again, we're in our we're in our edit and say I really want this button and this button to be in different places. All I have to do is hit the swap button. <coughs> excuse me, and they'll switch. Or one other thing you can do, if I want to move this money folder, I'm going to hold down until it starts to wiggle or pulse. And now I'm going to move it. Oops, there we go. And it just switched places with clothing. If I want clothing somewhere else, I can hold till it pulses and put it where I want it. And it switches everything around. So you can easily switch items around. All right. Now I want to show you copy and paste um, a, a quick way to fill up buttons. Let's go into, um, I'm going to go back to my users, and I'm going to go to student number three. And this is a student uh, that I started. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's their home page, and we're going to go into school, school. and we're going to go into morning group. Morning group. And during morning group, we talk about shapes. So I need to fill this with shapes. Sh with shapes. But instead of making each shape button, I can go copy it from another profile. So I'm going to open my options button, and I'm going to go to student 2. <coughs> okay. And in student 2, I'm going to open, let me get that off. I'm going to open the school folder, and there's shapes. And those are the shapes I want. So I'm going to go to Edit, and now I'm going to tap each one, and I'm going to hit Copy, Done. Now I'm going to do my options, and I'm going to go back to my student, who was student uh, 4, I think. I was in 4 or 5, and I can't remember. I'm sorry. Or no, it was student 3. Let me see. It was student 3 I wanted. Okay, so here's student three, and again, I'm in my shapes folder right there, so all I have to do is go to edit and hit paste, and it's going to bring those shapes in for me. So instead of making each button, you can go to some of the, those two main profiles and find what you want, and it's a very quick way to add them in. Now, when you're working in buttons or folders, you can always edit anything. So let's say I wanted these, whoops, I wanted these top ones to have a background. So I'm going to open my edit, and you can choose one or you can choose all of them. Now, instead of arrange, see we've been working in the arrange button. We're going to go over here to properties. We're going to open properties, and now I can change the background color. We'll make it pink. Let me go back. And um, let's go back again. Let's say I want to change the border color on these. And we'll make these blue. And I want the border width to be uh, very thick. So at any time, you can go change a button. And again, it's right there. It's with your properties. Right? Once again, if I um, say I really don't want all of these showing, I can open up my edit. I can choose these, and I can either move them to a second page, or I can put them in storage. So I think I'm going to put them in storage. And now I just have the shapes I need for my, uh, for my folder. Okay.